Jim Harbaugh Zooming virtual yeah. interview with the Denver Broncos today. I mean, if you had to peg it uh, that this is a leverage play, despite having signed a five-year contract just one year ago to try and get yet more money from, from uh, Ward Manuel, the athletic director of Michigan, or he really is trying to scratch that NFL itch that he said he put away last year when he signed that five-year contract. W- where do you lean on all of this for Harbaugh? Albert? I I think he um, I I think right now it feels to me like he's gathering information. Um, you know, and I, I I think we talked last week about like the 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 difference this time around and kind of how you know maybe he felt his mortality as an NFL co- a potential NFL coach over the last couple of years when it was hard for him to get back in when he really wanted to get back in, you know, mm-hmm. and he turns 60 next year or this year. And it's, you know, like how many more shots am I going to get at this? So I, you know, I think he wants to give it a very legitimate look, you know, and um, I, so I think, you know, what you're going to see, you know, is he's going to go through a process of looking at these things. And if he gets an offer, I think it's going to be hard for him to say no. Now, I think Denver's committed to running a real process, and obviously they've got their toe in the Sean Payton pool. Um, you know, I think the Colts, you know, it'll be interesting to see, you know, where the interest lands there. You know, the Texans are another one who people aren't talking about, um, where, you know, I, I think if the owner is in control of that one, if it's not Nick Casario fully running that process, the Texans could throw their hat in the ring. So I, I think, you know, Jim's going uh, to gather information here and, um, you know, if he gets an offer, I think it's going to be hard for him to tell to, to, to say no. But I also know this: like he he's got the Michigan program in an awesome spot. He's got a really good team coming back next year, um, and I and I do think he genuinely really likes the job. You know what I mean? I just think there's some push and pull there. And I and I will say this: like the Michigan people are taking it seriously. Like I I talked to a couple people last night, you know, who are connected in these circles and everything else, mm-hmm. and said. You know, Michigan is already doing, you know, research on, on, on potential candidates should he leave. That, um, that, that shouldn't, you know, sound any alarms in Ann Arbor or anything. It's a smart thing that you would do. You know, you would naturally get yourself ready in the case that something could happen. But I think it is a sign that they're at least taking, you know, Harbaugh's interest in NFL jobs very seriously. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 